Hi there, you must be the new communications director. Grab a seat. Hey, thanks, I'm Matt. Good to meet you, Matt. I'm Guy, I do all the HR stuff around here. So you're Guy the HR guy? <laughs> yep, is that funny? Oh, oh no, I, I just wanna make sure I remember your name. Great. Okay, I am going to use a bunch of words that you've never heard of, and I'm gonna ask you to sign some papers that you've never seen before. But before that, can I ask you one question? Um, sure, what's your question? Have you spoken to the church comm sage? The what? The church comm sage? I, I don't have any idea what that is. Who, who is it? Who are they? Rumor has it, there is a church communication sage. He is hidden away beyond the snowy peaks, past the rainy jungles, roaring rivers, and dry hot deserts. It is said to be quite the arduous journey. Uh, don't, don't worry, we actually found out where he was and we offered him a position and now he's on staff. Travel expenses were just adding up like crazy. Tell you what, let's pause this conversation. Why don't we circle back once you're done talking with the comm sage? Oh, and ask him this. Uh, okay, I will. Who disturbs the comm sage? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I can come back later. I'm, I'm the new comm guy. Oh, nice, come on in. Uh, thanks. So I'm supposed to ask you a question. Um, what is the right way to do church communications? Find the answer in your heart. Wait, is this some kind of Disney special? Oh, sorry about that. I was looking at the wrong cue card. There is no single right way. I, I'm gonna be honest, that doesn't really sound like a helpful answer. Oh, but it is. You are the one that will learn the right way for this congregation and this community. There are a lot of talking heads out there, myself included. And while we may be able to give you solid advice for challenges you face, don't take our ideas at face value. Interpret them and see if they work with the people you serve.